Many people will be quick to say that a zombie apocalypse will never happen, and we shouldn't be worried about it since it's just completely fake news. But the truth is, with Earth being full of deadly toxins, parasites, and advancements in microbiological research, the zombies could be arriving at your doorstep any moment now. From weaponized brain fungus to a scourge from outer space, here are 10 real ways the zombie apocalypse could strike. Number 10. Neurogenesis Due to stem cell research, it's becoming more and more possible for us to be able to regenerate decaying organs and bring them back to life. However, the outside of our brains will likely decay too quickly to fully regenerate. These parts of our brain allow for emotions, self-awareness, memories, and make us human in a sense. With neurogenesis, the inside parts of our brain, however, will be more easily able to restore functionality to. These are the parts that simply allow us to breathe, eat, and stay alive. Now imagine bringing back thousands of people from the afterlife who are brain dead, can't think like most humans do, and who could also be extremely aggressive. Now let's say an evil person managed to do this on a large scale of people who had infectious diseases and partially decayed flesh, and they begin to look a lot like the zombie apocalypse. Number 9. Escaping from the Cages this is kind of a classic way the zombie apocalypse has started in movies, but something like this is very possible. Many people understand the controversy surrounded on animal testing, but we don't always know exactly what they're experimenting with. Could they be experimenting with a zombie apocalypse virus? Just recently, in November 2016, a Canadian lab worker was believed to have accidentally been exposed to the Ebola virus after conducting experiments on pigs after it was discovered that he had a tear in his hazmat suit. This was after conducting experiments on pigs who had been intentionally exposed to the virus of Ebola. You can only imagine the mayhem if those Ebola pigs had been released from their cages and were found running down the streets of Manitoba, Canada, where this incident took place. The worker had to be quarantined for 14 days until he was deemed safe to re-enter society. Laboratories such as this one and Fort Detrick in Maryland are said to be handling pathogens that require high levels of containment. If animals used for testing infected with zombie-like diseases somehow made it out into the public, we'd be in serious trouble. Let's also not forget that small animals such as mice are often experimented on and are known to be able to squeeze through tiny holes under doors and survive high falls. So watch out! Number 8. Brain Parasites The last one was a good example of how microbiological experiments have the potential to infect the staff and therefore the public. Parasites have evolved to be quite complex and are capable of actually taking over the brain, making them do unusual things. One parasite known as Toxoplasma gondii can make a rat scurry towards a cat to be eaten so the parasite can thrive in the cat's stomach. If something like this can happen to a rat, why not a human eventually? What else is surprising is that this parasite is actually found in 50% of humans' brains. Some believe that it doesn't control our brain quite like the rats, but there could be a link with Toxoplasma gondii and schizophrenia. Number 7. Weaponized Brain Fungus So what you might be thinking is, hey, zombies have to be dead first to be considered a zombie, right? Well, whether they're dead or undead, preparing for these kind of scenarios would essentially be the same. Large hordes of people losing complete control of their brains, possibly violent, contagious, and often with disfiguring diseases. It won't really matter if they were dead at one point if they try to come back and eat you alive. Now keep in mind that weaponized biological agents are constantly being researched in sketchy laboratories with the goal in mind of creating a zombie apocalypse if they need to. Something such as Cordyceps, featured in the game of The Last of Us, is a killer ant and bug fungus that infiltrates their bodies and minds. It causes ants to move upwards towards the sky and the fungal spore will erupt from their brain. The fungus is so deadly and contagious that it can affect entire ant colonies in just weeks. Now imagine some crazy scientist developing a weaponized version of this fungus which can affect humans. We'd be in serious trouble. In case you didn't think it could happen to us, the fungus has shown signs of evolving and being able to affect larger species of bugs such as tarantulas like you see in this photo. Number 6. Neurotoxins 
With mankind's persistent desire to completely destroy one another, it doesn't seem too far-fetched to believe that neurotoxins could also usher in some kind of zombie apocalypse. As opposed to nuclear weapons, chemical and biological weapons could be much more difficult to detect the true origin of, thus appealing to terrorists or whoever gets their hands on this type of power. A neurotoxin is basically any type of chemical that can be poisonous to the nervous system. This can range from anything such as alcoholic beverages to Botox, which can both be deadly and cause brain damage if not properly used. A story about a Haitian man, Clarvius Narcisse, was declared dead for 18 years by two doctors, but was found to be wandering around a village. How is this even possible? He was apparently given a mix of tetrodotoxin from a puffer fish and buffotoxin from a toad. Could voodoo practitioners theoretically have caused someone to die and then brought them back to life with a different toxin? If this seems like a bunch of baloney to you, this photo here shows a law in Haiti that explains how it's illegal to poison people and make them behave like zombies. Could the Haitians have really understood a way to make the dead rise once again? There is much we still don't know about neurotoxins and they can certainly affect our brains to act violently and in unpredictable ways like we're about to see. Number 5. Bath Salts Epidemic you probably heard of bath salts before. And their ability to completely alter someone's sense of reality. There's been numerous cases of this happening in places like Miami, where users become extremely aggressive to anyone they make contact with and seem as though they are possessed by the devil. What's interesting about the chemicals in bath salts is that they continually evolve in laboratories and their chemical makeup changes so they can't be considered illegal. As soon as a law comes out to make a substance in bath salts illegal, the molecules are slightly changed in that laboratory to make the new substance legal. What if one day during this process, they create a strain of bath salts so highly addictive, yet terribly violent, that it leads to a zombie apocalypse. The hallucinations inside their mind reach the point to where the users feel as though their souls are being consumed by demons. Bath salts were developed in the early 2000s, but were only the predecessor to our next one. Number 4. Flocka other unpredictable synthetic street drugs such as Flocka and Spice have already hit the streets in a widespread epidemic across the country. Flocka is basically like bath salts, but much more extreme and is becoming surprisingly popular. The trend only began a couple years ago in Florida, and there's many videos online to back up what we're saying here. Since then, it's already spread to at least nine states total. Doctors and law enforcement have admitted that this is the most evil substance that they've ever seen, nicknaming it the devil's drug. This image here shows a person under the influence of Flocka run headfirst into someone's windshield from a dashboard camera, and it shows how truly insane the people can become while taking it. Here's another image of a man on Flocka who jumped on top of someone's car, who you can clearly tell would be easily mistaken for a zombie. What happens when this gets to the point where even just 10% of our population is in a complete state of psychosis under the influence of neurotoxins? It hasn't gone to the point yet where it's able to rot off people's flesh, but a new substance known as crocodile found in the Ukraine does. These are both good examples of what neurotoxins are capable of, and we should really watch out for this one. Number 3. Hybrid Virus Epidemics Rabies isn't just featured in films, folks. This is a real zombie-like disease that is very transmittable, lethal, and terrifying. If you actually do get diagnosed with rabies, go ahead and consider yourself the walking dead because you only got about a month to live. This is the most zombie-like disease out there, and it basically gives you no control over your brain. In fact, it actually makes you want to bite people, which allows the disease to spread. Something like a hybrid virus of Ebola and rabies could certainly give people zombie-like characteristics. In the early 1990s, the Soviet Union developed what was known as Ebola pox, which is basically a hybrid of Ebola and smallpox, according to Soviet microbiologist Dr. Alibakov. This would be extremely contagious to the point where they figured it would eventually spread so quickly that the Soviet Union would eventually be a victim and it halted the research. Somewhere out there, Ebola pox still exists in a laboratory which could bring an end to the world. Anything spliced like this with rabies and we're looking at a full-blown zombie apocalypse, guys. No joke. Places like Kazakhstan, not far from unstable countries like Afghanistan, hold former Soviet biological weapons factories that are now laboratories. Number 2. Virus from Space There has been evidence to suggest that asteroids or meteorites could contain microbiological organisms, and if this is the case, you have to consider the possibility of something like this falling to Earth and infecting humans. A disease that seemingly comes from nowhere and brings an end to millions of lives each year, known as the flu, could have came from outer space. 
Scientists believe they have evidence as well. In fact, the word influenza is actually Italian, which means the influence of the heavens and the stars. Large portions of dust were deposited into the atmosphere from comets around the same time the flu began to spread. We also know that without a shadow of a doubt that viruses and microorganisms can survive harsh conditions long enough to get a ride from a meteorite and down to Earth. The astronauts who visited the moon were actually kept in quarantine for a long period of time after their mission. This photo here shows scientists wearing protective gear while coming close to the U.S. Air Force X-37B, which also made its way into space. Why would they do this if they weren't afraid of some type of pathogen? And what's in the box? Maybe the military was able to scrape up some space pathogens in order to conduct experiments for horrifying biological weapons. And number one, nanobots. With breakthroughs in microbiology and technology of robots, could computers really become as small as viruses someday in the future? We've seen how technology has been able to advance with integrated circuits and how small computers can get. Your body relies on electrical impulses from the brain to move. But what if the electrical sources comes from somewhere else? Like a computerized nanovirus that could essentially shut down the parts of the brain that make us human and turn us into violent zombies. This image here shows on a molecular level what a nanobot looks like attaching itself onto a red blood cell. And by the way it looks, you would probably believe that we should be careful about too much technological advancements with this one. The robotic microscopic virus could find ways to reproduce on its own and find ways into our bodies, creating mass hysteria. Many doctors believe that nanobots could be beneficial to curing diseases and fighting illnesses. But what if, in the process of designing them, they create something horrific? Something that spreads like wildfire, creating a full-scale zombie apocalypse. Thanks for watching, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for new videos every day.